previously on Yare. Boatyard is super busy. We've got a lot of work to do ourselves today. It's something that we discovered along the way. The most important thing about the stringers that we learned. If you buy a new boat, you do not have rotten stringers. What is actually a serious note? We weren't quite sure what we were getting into. We had a little bit of a sad day. Couldn't wait to see everything come together. Yeah, good job. Look at how nice it looks. Throughout this refit, we've been making the drive between Whistler and Richmond every weekend. It's a long journey, but at least it's a beautiful one. While living so far away can feel like a burden, there's also something exciting about leaving the mountains and heading into the big city. Driving down to the boatyard. Another work weekend. And it's exciting. Fiberglassing. Our first weekend fiberglassing. Yeah, it was oil and rod in there. Yeah. Yeah, so there will be more in here to see how it comes through, see? Yeah. But uh, I might kind of grind out some of these spots, but I'm just like, I'm, you can I'm really just happy that it stopped. So we are just picking up some materials today for the rebuild. We're going to start making the new stringers. Those need to go back in right away. And uh, yeah, so we've just picked up some of the marine ply, two sheets. We took an extra sheet of plywood for something else, but it's $420 for three sheets. Pricey. Unfortunately, at this time, we were unable to source structural foam locally, so we decided to proceed with standard marine ply. $420 looks like. Yeah, it doesn't look like much, does it? Nope. That will take care of all four of our stringers. Wait till you see uh, the roll of 1708 we got in the back of the truck we just picked up. So Christoph has a tiny bit of grinding to do left before we put the stringers in, but we have all the fiberglass, we have all the materials we need now. And we're still deciding exactly how we're gonna do it, but it's gonna happen this weekend. The beginning the rebuild. It's been a long winter of grinding away. Seven months of taking the boat apart. It all started when we rescued a storm damaged sailboat and hauled it out at the boatyard. We started stripping the boat of all of its hardware and components like stanchions, cleats, winches, and basically everything that was deck mounted, including any cables that supplied power to navigation equipment while Kristoff started to sand the hall, and I started to vacuum and scrub all the grime away. Oh, the glorious sanding. And scrubbing. Eventually exposed our next challenge, osmosis. We removed the propeller, steering, and helm station. Stuffing box and drive shaft, anchor, bow roller and furler, as well as chain plates and boom. 
all to remove the mast while cleaning and polishing everything like the engine bay. Of course, discovering more surprises. And after removing the mast, it was time to take the first tent down and build a new one. And prepare to remove the engine. All while continuing to sand the hall each and every weekend. The mast step was next, as was the dreaded job of removing the holding tank. And can't forget the fuel tank, which we had to empty first. All of the plumbing would be coming out. To fully expose and clean the oil-covered hull and rotten stringers, we had to cut the floor out and remove the keel. Alas, we would build a cradle to be able to remove all of the stringers at once as they were all soaked to the very core. Back at the boat yard. And guess what we have in the back of the truck? A whole roll of fiberglass. Yep. Wowzers. Now that's a lot of fiberglass. A little recap, we built a cradle, we removed all the stringers. We've been grinding out the inside of the bilge. And we have a little oh, bit, tiny bit more touch up on the grinding today. So for the last few days, Christoph has been grinding a lot. All right, that is what it looks like after um, like a day of grinding that was basically yesterday yesterday I didn't have these fans so I attempted to just close it off and fully go at it which is not a good idea you need fresh air you need fresh air flow constantly so I bought one two and three of those fans and now you can actually I just kind of compressor blasted everything and it just goes right out and we try to catch as much as we can with um, the cyclone bucket and then the vacuum outside so here we sent it a little bit of the bilge needs used to do much more grinding but these two spots where stringers used to be are pretty clean up um, we still have to do more in here, more in the bilge. Haven't even started in here. And yeah, it's getting really close. So we think we can finish doing this today. There's a few high spots left um, where the stringers were. So good. Yeah. It's gonna be a brand new build. Still has to finish in here the very front of the bilge. So this is after a day of sanding. Still have to do some more sanding in here. Grinding actually, heavy, heavy grinding. But this is looking really good. Hard to get into uh, this foot. And it'll be all smoothed down to one nice surface and then we can start to uh, fiberglass the uh, stringers in, the new stringers, and it's going to be super awesome because we are going to, at the very end, gel coat the entire bilge. It's going to be so nice. And unfortunately, I haven't been here to help him because I've been working full time, but assistance on the weekends. Yeah, after today, I should be able finish this grinding. So I gotta grind the through holes. Might as well do that. Both of them are gonna be cut out. 
Cut it out. And that's the state of Yare right now. But uh, only a little bit more grinding left. But we're so close. It was time for the final touches on the grinding. We were both tired of tearing things apart and were looking forward to rebuilding. The finish line was finally in sight. Got sunny and oh, feels so good. And that horrible noise in the background is Kristoff grinding away right now. Well, we found a rotten spot late last night. You're taking care of it. This is the hole from the outside of the boat. It's basically down to one layer of fiberglass. So we're gonna be fixing that. And uh, it's not gonna be too bad. I'm gonna grind it out like everything else. And uh, just, uh, you know, everything takes more time than you think it will. Every single time. That's just uh, owning a boat, I guess we've learned. Um, if we would just stop finding damn surprises all the time, you know, we've taken everything out, there's no more surprises possible, and then just when you think it's not possible, you find another spot. But, we're in good spirits. Summer's here, it's sunny, it was supposed to be raining today, so, that's the positive in that. Just when we thought we were nearly done with the grinding, we discovered a soft, oil-soaked spot in the fiberglass. It's definitely a nasty job. Grinding fiberglass isn't for the faint of heart, but there's something oddly satisfying about it. Each time we grind away the rot, it feels like we're reclaiming the boat, making progress where there was once decay.
pretty nasty work dealing with fiberglass and extremely stinky, so it's uh, kind of nice when it's rainy and not stinking hot, but it's never a fun job. Just trying to get it done before it gets really hot outside. And yeah, of course, after this, this is the very last grinding. And then we start putting everything back together. So exciting. The oil had penetrated the hull deeply in one particular spot. This one. And as we dug in, it just kept going and going until it was about two feet long. The layers of fiberglass became progressively thinner, prompting us to switch from the angle grinder to the belt sander for more precision. It was a meticulous process, but we knew that addressing this issue was crucial for the integrity of the rebuild. After all, we're perfectionists. If we're going to do the job, we're going to do it right. The oil had seeped through about 12 layers of fiberglass and we were determined to ensure that every last bit was dealt with. All the rod is out. All the major grinding. Look at how good it looks. Wow. This was where we found the uh, patch of rot and it went quite deep so as you can see this is the very last layer of fiberglass this is actually uh the cradle stringer on the other side of it on the outside what oh my god i didn't know that so that's, crazy. that's why i didn't want to take the grinder to us because the grinder just kind of goes through it right wow it's open. don't step there you'll fall through no, that's what i'm saying don't step there so yeah check out the build oh my goodness so exciting to see it look so clean, but soon we'll be playing fiberglass. Yep. Christoph brought a dust collector. We claimed. Found it in the dump. Do you believe it? I know. Did you actually? Ship people for all? It's crazy. <laughs> Tell me that. I didn't even know where he got this. Well, I had a little hole in it, but just did a little quick pass shop. And this baby is going to collect all the fiberglass dust. We just picked up a 20 foot hose to go reach inside the boat. It's just been pretty nasty. We're almost done, but I guess. Would it be nice to have that last week already? Yeah. When we did most of the dirt. This is how much dust fiberglass creates. It's just super thick. And literally everywhere. There was just like literally an inch of fiberglass dust everywhere. Did you actually what do you do? Did you actually find that in the dump? Wow. It's amazing. But I just fixed it up. It wasn't working when I got it. And that's why probably somebody threw it out. But there was just something wrong with the breaker. And now watch this. Now that we were mostly done with the grinding, we happened to stumble across a proper dust collection system. Classic timing, right? Oh well, it'll still come in handy. Who knows what other surprises we might uncover as we keep digging into this project. It's all part of the adventure, and at least we'll be better prepared for whatever comes next. The grind of the bilge is finally over, and holy, what a difference it makes. Now it's time to vacuum up all the dust and get ready to lay down some new fiberglass. We can almost feel the excitement building as we prepare for this next step. It's going to be a fresh start and we can't wait to see the transformation take shape. It was another beautiful weekend at the boatyard. The perfect weather to start fiberglassing. So that's what we did. The rebuild has officially begun. First, we ran some trials and got a little bit familiar with the processes. Once the weather cooled down, it was time to start. Meet Eric. He came along to give us a hand. 
They were both eager to get it going. These are our samples of fiberglass that we did. Lots of different uh, techniques. This is the proper way, actually. Lots of different uh, ratios. The moment was finally here. The first of the fiberglassing was the patch job for the rotten spot that we had found late into the grinding. This was definitely a weekend of learning. Finding the right consistency of catalyst for the temperature and humidity. And overall, practice for what's to come. The spot we were filling was ground down to the last few layers of fiberglass. So we actually added 12 layers, or we call it 6 units. Chop mat after 1708 after chop mat and continued on for a while. Now the process was a little bit more complicated than that, but we'll get into that another day. Because this is just the beginning. And by the end of the evening, we finished all 12 layers. It was looking great but it was time to call it a day. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. It's one free, easy way you can help support this channel. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Next week. Next week. Next week. Next week, we're going to start laying fiberglass. And what do you have to say so far about your fiberglass hull grinding that you've been doing? Don't do it, guys. Don't do it. Finally, summer at the boat yard. Oh, shit. Look at these babies. We're converting the sailboat to a hovercraft. My DIY dust collector. Totally sucked, or it didn't suck. It Ooh, look where we are. Cleaning up the boat. Oh, that bilge is looking so much better. Ooh, look at the bilge.